G'day viewers, welcome back to another video. Uh, as you guys know, I've been given a whole pile of stuff to um, toll refine for someone. Now this here is a whole pile of purple ceramics, ceramic um, CPUs that have been handed to me. And someone's already attacked it with nitric acid. You can see these dots here where there used to be gold pins. There's no gold pins anywhere in all this stuff nor is there the gold square caps that you see on a purple CPU the only gold I can see anywhere on these bits is the center parts like that so I've told the person who owns this they're not going to get a lot of gold out of it because they're only going to get the dribs and drabs the bulk of it's already been taken and also I've got a bottle of crumbs they've smashed to pieces I can't see any gold in there whatsoever but I'm going to treat it just in case so I've got my brand new beaker one of my four beakers that I've just bought and I'm going to place all this and the crumbs into there and put straight in aqua regia there's no point in trying to burn base metals because it looks like it's already been in nitric acid so I'm just going to go straight for aqua regia and see what little bit of gold we can get out of it all right, so within 10 minutes of putting the Acra Ridge in here, even with it out being on heat, it started fuming up. And it's now the next day. I was going to put more acid in to see if the fumes would restart, but I think that we wasted nitric acid. My best option would be to filter it and then inspect all the, the pieces to see if there's any gold left on there. So I'll take that up to the table now and start filtering it. Okay, so I've got this uh, funnel here which I made a while back. And it's got brewer's bag on here. And the holes are so fine, the liquid can get through, but gold pieces can't. So it's really good for when you're doing gold flakes and so on. And I'm going to use this to catch all the debris. And then I can stir it with a spoon while I'm rinsing it and so on. If I used a filter paper, I couldn't do that. So this is really good for this kind of thing. If I can get all the small debris that was on top into here, as I said, stir it around while I'm rinsing it to make sure I get all the solution off it, then I should be able to access to the bigger pieces. And same thing, they can be poured into here too, and then I can inspect them and rinse them off. So that's what I'm going to do now, put that on there and start running this through. It'll need to be re-filtered anyway through uh, cotton balls or something, but it'll, for separating the, the ceramic this is good enough. See how the, water, the solution just flows right through. If I was using cotton balls or a filter paper I'd have to wait all day for it to to filter out. So what I'll do is I'll let that sit now and then I'll scoop out all this <coughs> excuse me, I'll, filter, I'll scoop that out later with a spoon. Just, um, a whole pile of it's already come out so I'll just let that settle. I'll stir it, um, I've got a little squeeze bottle, put some water in there and I'll it like that, rinse it out thoroughly, scoop it out with a spoon and then I can put some more in and I'll just keep doing that until all of this is clear and until I can inspect each one for any gold that's missed. If I don't see any gold then it's obviously all dissolved. Uh, I've looked through all the ceramic pieces and found some of the gold on them still like that. Um, even if it's only got one little wire I'm still I'll put it aside anyway, I'm going to get every bit of gold. So these are the only ones that didn't dissolve. It could either be because there was not enough nitric in there, it's all used, or the acid couldn't get to these. What I'm going to do now is put these back in the beaker. There's the solution that filtered out. It's now heavily diluted with water because of washing out the funnel. 
but that's okay and it doesn't matter when you drop gold because it's better to be dropped from a dilute solution it doesn't matter that it's watered down if there's still nitric in there it'll still dissolve so I'm going to put these into that beaker again put the solution back in put it on heat and see if it picks up and if the reaction starts up after it's hot and it should have reacted if it doesn't I'll put some more nitric in it's not going to take a lot though for just this little amount some of them have only got like one wire or two or three wires and some have got more that one's got plenty on there and um well, it shouldn't be long now before we can get all that and finish and drop the gold it's time for me to filter the solution i've got a funnel with a cotton ball inside as well as a filter paper because there is uh, some sediment in there some of that small granulated stuff is in there most of it's just big pieces but just in case catch the small stuff in here and then the, the co uh, cotton ball just to make sure that all the really fine sediment gets caught and it should be left with a nice clean solution to drop the gold so slowly get all this in Hopefully it should take, uh, shouldn't take very long, being as it's fairly clean liquid. Like there's no sludge in there to block it up. And uh, once this is all filtered, we'll come back and we'll drop the gold. Now the solution has been well filtered. Pretty hard to see, but it would be nice and clear if it was a cleaner solution. Been through the filter paper and cotton ball. I've dissolved some SMB in water here. I'm just stirring it up, make sure it's all dissolved. Well, there'll probably be a little bit in the bottom, it's not, but that's okay. Now, normally what you would do is you would double the quantity of your solution because gold likes to drop from a, a diluted solution. And this solution has already been um, diluted a lot with all the rinses and everything. So I don't need to double the solution. Um, just enough I got in here will be fine. There's a hard clump of it here I'm trying to get out. That's all right, that'll dissolve. All right, so I'll put this in. Woo! That um, reaction is probably due to excess nitric because it was hard to tell the way I was doing it, if I had enough nitric in or there's too much. But the fact that uh, it didn't react when I put any more in meant that everything was dissolved, so there's still a very high chance that there could have been excess nitric in there. But if you put enough SMB in, it soon kills off the nitric. I don't like using, I don't like having too much nitric, it's a waste, but in this situation, I was only adding small amounts. So if, if it was over, it's probably like one or two mil. That's not much. And that's why the reaction's finished now. If it was any more than that, it would have overflowed and it would have kept reacting, reacting as I put more in. It's just that short reaction and that's it. So now, it's a waiting game. Wait till the morning, I suppose, and see uh, how much gold I've got. It's the next day and I'm going to drain off the solution and see if there's any gold coming out because as it, I don't know if you can see from there but where it's pouring out over there to the beaker um, you can see if there's any gold coming out I'll be able to see it so I'm going to carefully pour this off look like there's a nice pile of gold at the bottom more than what I expected a lot more than I expected you can't see from there but there was a decent pile but it started to escape so I had to stop 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in there, which will dilute, heavily dilute that brown, and you'll be able to see through it, no worries at all. Um, I'm not going to use just any old water. I'm going to boil the kettle and put some nice hot water in there. to start the process. So for those who haven't seen my process, I'm not saying it's the best one. I'm not saying there's not other methods. What I do is I do three hot water rinses. Then I put hydrochloric acid in and boil it for 15, 20 minutes, whatever, there's no specific time. Then I'll do at least, at least three hot water rinses probably maybe even four or five so that I can be guaranteed I got rid of all the hydrochloric acid and then I do a nitric boil and by the time I've done that hopefully the gold powder will be nice and brown like milk chocolate brown and then I give it a good rinse to get rid of the nitric acid and melt it up so the first of three water washes coming up I probably won't show you all of them because it's going to be the same thing over and over and over i'll just show you one of each and we'll come back when i'm ready to when the kettle boils so i'll do the first of the three water washes and we'll have the gold by the end of the day okay so rinse number one I have to let that settle give it a good swirl around make sure it's washed thoroughly When that settles, I'll pour it out and do two more. Well, I'm about to do my third rinse. I just wanted to show you the gold. Now that it can be seen because it's not as uh, dirty as before, you can actually see the how much gold there is. All right, so the gold has had a boil in hydrochloric acid. I don't know why. But this hydrochloric acid is yellow. It's like that coming out the barrel. Um, it was given to me by the person who I'm doing these refines for. Um, I'm unsure about its history, if it's been used before. As far as I can tell, it's a new bottle. So I'm taking a chance on using it. It's all I've got. So uh, I'm just trying to make sure the gold doesn't get stirred up I'm going to pour this hydrochloric acid off and give it a good three or four washes until I'm certain that it's all gone it's actually a good thing that it is yellow because then I'll be able to tell when all traces of yellow has gone because I want to do a nitric boil and if I don't get rid of all the hydrochloric acid some of the gold will get re-dissolved again so I'll pour this off. As gently as I can. I would normally keep my hydrochloric acid. I would use that again and again. But for the sake of just making sure that it's nice and clean, I'm going to just pour it into there. It is fairly colloidal. It's not settling very fast. So I'm going to have to just let this sit. And it will probably take me a while to get through three or four washes at this rate. So I'll come back when I do the nitric boil. It's had four rinses of water, hot water. And usually, after having a hydrochloric acid boil, the gold would be like a nice chocolate brown colour. And in most cases, instead of being like a black soot, it would be more granulated. However, that's not happened this time. So I'm hoping that a nitric boil will do that. See, it's still black soot. A little bit of liquid there because it started to want to come out. So, I'm going to put some 
dilute. Um, we're going to put some distilled water in there. And I'm going to put some nitric acid in there. Doesn't need to be a whole lot. And this should clean up any contaminants that are in there. If it doesn't, and if the powder doesn't go to a light chocolate brown, then it will need to be refined. But I'm really hoping this cleans it up because then I can get this video finished and published. So now I'm going to put that on the heat with a lid on and boil it for an hour, whatever. There's no set time. And uh, see if it cleans it up a bit. And then we can actually weigh it and see how much we've got. The nitric boil worked. It's uh, gone like a nice chocolate colour. I'm not sure what you can see because I've just stirred it up. There's a tiny bit that's colloidal, but a lot of it has gone granulated. And it's a nice colour now. You see a little bit on the bottom stuck in the middle. It's colloidal, but the, all the rest of it just fell down to the corner there. So now I'm going to tip this off. Give it a couple of rinses to get the nitric acid off. And then I'm going to dry it out. There's not much there. But we did only have fragments, so I think anything was good to get from that. Little shrapnel pieces of, of uh, um, CPU, I think it's a pretty good effort. There's only tiny little bits of gold that were available. So I'll get that happening, we'll dry it off and see what we got. And what I'll do is I'll save the liquid in my used nitric bottle. There's no point in wasting it. Alrighty, let's see how much we got. The best way I found to dry gold is in one of these wash dish, um, watch glasses. It's got a concave section in it. Put your gold in there. Even if you have to rinse the beaker to get it in there, then the, the water collects and you can get it out with a pipette. And uh, then you just sit it on top of another beaker with some water or something on heat and it slowly dries the gold. So there's not much here, but remember we only started with shrapnel, bits and pieces of chips that might have had one or two little specks. There were some good ones in there, but not many. So I'm pr pr pretty happy with anything I get, really. So we'll turn this on. That's on zero, and we'll tip this in, gently, I'm going to brush here, I'll just brush the last of it out. Okay. So, we have 2.8 grams. Wow. That's good. I didn't expect that much. I thought it'd be like half a gram or maybe one gram, one and a half even, but not 2.8. I'm impressed. Well, there you go, guys. If uh, someone hands you something that they've tried processing and haven't succeeded, it's worth giving it a shot yourself. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you've learned something. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.